Welcome. So in this case, what we have is x plus y divided by x minus y is equal to 3 halves. And what they are asking us to do is to solve this equation in 4, four y. I'll write that, 4 y. OK, so when I look at this equation, you know, I see that I have two, two y's, right? And so I need to somehow be able to get them to be the same. And I cannot divide them out because they are across addition and subtraction. And you cannot apply the division property um, across addition and subtraction, only across multiplication. So I need to get somewhere where I do not have these fractions. And what I notice is right now I have a proportion. Um, so when I have a proportion, I can apply the cross product, which saying that I can multiply cross products are going to be equivalent. Therefore, 2 times x plus y is equal to 3 times x minus y. Notice how I took these two expressions and put them in parentheses. That is to tell my brain that this is 2 times this whole expression, not just 2 times x or not just 2 times y. It's 2 times the whole expression. So I put it in parentheses to remind myself that. So then I can apply the distributive property to now simplify it. So I have 2x plus 2y equals 3x minus 3y. Now, to solve for y, I need to get the y variable by itself. So to do that, I need to isolate. I need to get it on one side. And when I'm solving for variables, I like to solve so the variable is going to be positive. So if I subtract the 2y on both sides, that's going to eliminate that 2y. But then that's going to make that a negative 5y. So I'm going to want to add 3y to both sides. Now again, there's nothing wrong with subtracting 2y to get the y on the right side. I personally just like to keep them positive. So now that's going to uh, combine to 0. And this is going to be combined to 5y. So now I have 2x plus 5y equals 3x. Now I just need to isolate the y. So I need to undo what's happening to the y. And we always undo addition and subtraction first. I see that my 5y is being um, added by a positive 2y or 2x. So I'm going to subtract the 2x on both sides. These are like terms, so I can simplify. So now I have 5y equals x. Now I undo multiplication of 5 by dividing by 5. That divides to 1. And my final answer is y equals x over 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for y for the literal equation. Thanks.